Hi friends, how are you today? Happy Friday. Um, welcome, welcome to our um, live stream. I'm Peggy Noe from prettypapercarts.com and this is my little Yorkshire Terrier Ellie. And we are here today just to have fun and to make a fun card on a Friday afternoon, early evening, maybe a little bit later evening for some of you. But we're just thankful that you popped in. And it is hot here, very hot here in Southern California. Okay, I take it back. Not hot, warm. It's warm today in, in the San Diego County area. We're in the mid 80s up here in Escondido is where I live. And we're in the, the mid 80s. Um, it's really nice. Oh, good. I'm checking and it shows that we're live. I love it. Roz, good to see you. Um, so let me know what the weather is where you're from. We had a fun little morning. Um, Ellie went out when the sprinklers were on. And so she got really wet. We had to dry her off. Diane Emerson, good to see you. Cherie, good to see you. So Ellie got kind of wet. She's all dried off by now, of course, with this nice warm day. But um, we've been having a nice day. I've been doing a little bit of cleaning today. I got this new vacuum cleaner. I, I mean, who's ever been excited about a new vacuum cleaner? <laughs> I don't even usually vacuum. My husband usually vacuums. Um, but I wanted to, I saw this vacuum online and I really wanted it. And so my husband got it for, for me and I'm actually having a ton of fun with it. It's a cordless vacuum cleaner. So it's battery operated. Stay still. It's battery operated and it only weighs seven pounds. That's what Ellie weighs. Hi, Anne, good to see you. Oh, it's raining in West Virginia. I hope that's good for you. We finally, this is the first fully sunny day we've had in like two months. And so we're thankful here. I hope, I know West Virginia gets quite a bit of rain, don't you? I'll switch her over here. So anyway, I got this new vacuum cleaner and I just love it. Seven pounds. And the only problem is you can only run it for about an hour. But I mean, who wants to vacuum more than an hour anyway? Um, so you, it just, zips around it has no it has a little tank thing to hold the you know the dust and stuff that you vacuum up but I really like it and it's just you know especially for my craft room which gets you know so many little things little dimensional tops and um, you know little all kinds of things and I just whip out that little vacuum and it does just the greatest job and it's not a big thing. I don't dread getting it out. Roz, you've been having crazy thunderstorms. Marsha Long, good to see you. Thunderstorms and rain, oh boy. But that's what makes your area so beautiful. Tina Lesson from Granite Falls, welcome, welcome. Uh, Margaret Gordon, good to see you. How's your weather over there, Miss Margaret? Thanks. Yes, thanks, Marsha. A cute bow on Ellie. Um, you need the rain, Anne. Okay, good. Kay Phipps, good to see you from North Carolina. And Holly, oh, I feel like Mr. Rogers or something. All my friends are here. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, so anyway, I have this spiffy new vacuum cleaner and I really like it. So, um, if you are thinking, are you, if you're in the market for a new vacuum, I say get a cordless one, the battery operated. It's not cheap, but it sure is fun. It makes vacuuming fun. So that's your little commercial for the day. <laughs> okay. Um, let's, don't forget to put prize if you want a prize. Want a prize. Um, and that will be awarded next week. Tegan has blue bows also in her ears. Oh, says Margaret. Sunny, but cold today. Okay, that's right, because it's your winter, isn't it? So um, just happy Friday. You know, isn't it nice when it's almost the weekend? And I hope you guys are planning on doing some stamping over the weekend. I know I am, of course. And I'm going to show you a card today that you might want to make. So let's talk about what's going on. What's the news? Okay, the designer series paper sale is half over. Okay, it's mid-June and the whole month of June 
13 different papers are on sale and I'm going to use one that we haven't used for a while. Um, today we're going to use the Zoo Crew paper which is adorable and people have been loving it. So don't forget to take advantage of that. 15% um, off for the whole month of June. If you need paper, stock up. And these are from the annual catalog which just came out. So they'll be being used and available for an entire year which is very nice. Okay, if you shop with me, which I hope you do, um, please use my host code. Um, this is the June host code, and you can see it on the YouTube, my YouTube channel. Hello to all my YouTube people. Good to see you. And for my YouTubers, it's down below. For my Facebook people, it's shown up above if you ever forget the host code. Use that when you place an order in my online shop and I'll send you a free gift. And this month, the gift is a Stampin' Pierce mat, which I do go through them because they tend to get, you know, I get ink on them. That's what you use to, with your, your clear photopolymer stamps. You stamp on, on the paper on that pad and it gives you a real good impression. If you don't use, if you're not using a Stampin' Pierce mat with your clear stamps, you need to do that. And so get one um, from me as a gift. Margaret, she received four different papers yesterday. Wasn't it fun? I love opening up my Stampin' Up! packages. I totally do. It's always really, really fun. Okay, more in more things to talk about. Um, we are having a starter kit special for the month of June. I'm trying to get that looking correct for you. The starter kit is generally, it's always 99 always $99, but generally you get $125 of product for your $99 when you order the starter kit. And it's all products of your choice. So you choose generally $125 in product, but you only pay $99 and it ships free. But for this month, as a special, they're increasing that amount by $30. So you get $155 worth of product for only $99 and it ships free, which is a really, you know, that is like another 15% discount because that's pricey. The shipping is just getting bad. You guys know that. So if you've ever, if you have a long wish list, if you've ever wanted to get your favorite products at a discount, because after the starter kit, you'll get 20% off every single thing you buy from Stampin' Up! This is the time to get the starter kit. And there's really no obligation. It's like a test drive. Um, you'll be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, no obligation. You can be a hobby demonstrator, which is what most of my gals are. Although if you want to um, sell a little bit, um, I, I, I tell this almost every week when we're having a starter kit special that that's why I became a demonstrator is to pay for my own habit. First of all, to get a discount on the products I love, and second of all, to pay for my habit. And it has done that, and I'm very thankful. So for any reason at all, it's a great deal. And this is, if you've ever thought of it, this is the time. Vicki Eakins, good to see you from Arizona. Becky Schlossnagel, good to see you. You got a cordless sweeper today? They're really nice, yes. Pick up little things, that's right. Oh, you had another battery operated one, okay. All right, I'm not the only one, yay. <laughs> okay, so the last thing in the way of news is my cupcake card class to go. My cupcake card kit. You guys, I am having so much fun preparing this for you. I, I rarely throw in gifts. In fact, I don't think I've ever thrown in gifts with my card kits, but this month I found two really cute gifts online, not related to Stampin' Up! at all. And I'm just getting so excited. I got one today and my husband said, oh, your things came and I'm so excited. So I'm giving out two little gifts in the kit. I mean, they're not huge, but they're little fun surprises. So the, what we're doing is we're making cupcakes and we're going to make four different designs, eight cards total, um, two cards of each design, and where they're going to be cupcake cards made from the Circle Saying stamp set. And there is the little cupcake we're going to use. I love this cupcake. 
I love it. And so all the cards are going to have that little cupcake on it. You're going to get a set of Stampin' Blends in crumb cake for cupcake. Um, or you can substitute that out for another color if you want. You're going to get a half a pack of the Bright and Beautiful Designer Series paper. I think it's a half. You're going to get a full pack of the uh, Tinsel Gems 3-pack. And everything you need to make those eight cards. So I'm going to fly them by you like I do um, just really quick because I don't like you to, you know, this is what the, the people who buy the kit get. So here's the first one. Zip, zip. And there's the little cupcake right there. And this is a fun one. And you're going to get everything to make these. Okay. Here's another fun one. They're all fun. Look at those cupcakes. And here is, a, I had to throw in a pink one. Okay, so those are the four designs. You'll make two of each. And today is the last day to pre-order. And truthfully, I've had a lot of pre-orders. I'm almost to my max because I'm just one little person. So I've only got a few more um, kits. I mean, they aren't made, but I can only make so many. So I've only got a few more that I can that I can sell that will be available. So if you want to pre-order the the cupcake card kit to go, um, email me Peggy at prettypapercards.com um, tonight because shortly in another couple hours I'm going to place my order with Stampin' Up to get everything I need to make all those cute cards. Thank you, Roz. Yeah, so, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you the price. So the kit itself alone is $45, includes all about $25 worth of product in it. If you need the um, the bundle, the circle saying stamp set and the, there's a circle punch that goes with it, then it goes up to $85 because that's the price, you know, that it's still a little discount on the price of the kit, of the bundle. So $45.85, or if you just want the PDFs, that's 19 but I don't send them out until I send the card kit out. Because my little pattern, my little, just the way I do things, I make, I put all the card kits together and then I really have it on my mind and I sit down and do the PDFs. So the PDFs aren't made yet, they come when the card kits are sent out. But I have all those things available for you only for a couple more hours. This is the last day. So email me if you're interested in that. It's it's my I've had the most fun with this with this class to go that I've had in a long time. Okay, what are we going to do today? Let's turn you down and I will show you what we're doing today. Let me just get this a little bit out. And here is the fun card that we're going to make. Is this not so cute? Now, as with uh, as I usually do for my for my um, lives like we're doing right now, I'm showing you something that you can make with different paper, different stamps, different everything. Um, so I'm going to show you a pattern or design that you can make. So you can do this with anything, but I think it's pretty cute this way. But I'm just saying it. You know, even if you don't have this stuff, you can use this for your own card making. So it has what we call a belly band. This is the little belly band. And then it's a double fold card and it opens up like that. Isn't that just cute? I really love these ballerinas. All the different animals that are zipping around like little ballerinas. I think I'll leave this off so that we can uh, refer to this as our sample. My niece is. Um, she's about five and she's in ballet and so I I may make another one that doesn't say thank you but anyway this is our card for today so I'm going to show you how to make this double fold card with the belly band and first I'm going to get out my paper trimmer I have the most of the papers cut but I want to show you how to score so what I'm using and you you know, I'm only using this actually because, um, so it's a 12 inch wide by five and a half. And I use the 12 because mathematically for the folds, it turn, it's easy. You could use an 11 and a half um, length sheet, but you would have to figure out your own folds numerically. Um, and I just didn't have the energy to do that. And I'm going to show you something because you may not know it's available. I 
got got one of these. This is a 12 by 12 pack of the um, 2022-2024. Can you? I don't know if you can see that in color cardstock. So this is a 12 by 12 pack. That means that you can do what I'm doing anytime you need it. So I usually get one of these. It's pretty handy to have for a year, you know, when the new in colors come. I get one of these. Um, you use this set, Renee, to make your granddaughter's four year birthday card, built a stage using layers and acetate and had the dancers on different layers. Oh my gosh. I mean, you're the pro, Renee. Honestly, oh my goodness sakes. Wow, just hearing that makes me, I, I don't even imagine. Post a picture if you have one. We would love to see that. Okay, so to score the double, <laughs> this little double fold card, we're, gonna, we're going to uh, score at two inches and four inches. And again, I use the 12 inch paper because it makes the folding so much easier. So two and four, and then I'm gonna have to put my arm out, my arm on my trimmer, and we go up to eight and then 10. So your basic card is, is four inches and the doors fold into four inches. Oh good, Renee, do post a picture. So now we're going to score our, um, I'm gonna get my glasses on now, we're gonna do more close up work. Um, I'm gonna actually turn it around because I, I fold, um, I leave the valley on the outside. So you just fold it like this, fold it in and out, and there you have your two doors that do that. And but the thing is, we're gonna want we want to really um, rather burnish these really well, so that the folds do their thing. We want them to do their thing, just like this. And then we'll do this one. So it's nice and nice and firm. So there we go. There's our double fold card. It's really easy. But again, with an 11 and a half inch, um, the standard, we all mostly use eight and a half by 11 uh, card stock. And it just was too hard for me to figure out. So I use this. And then what we're going to do is we can go ahead and glue on our pieces. And so this is all from the Zoo, um, Zoo Crew paper. And I mean, look at these cute little animals. It's hard. It's really hard to, to put them, you know, on, to use the other side. It really is. But what we're going to do is we're going to put the back side of the Zoo Crew paper is all black and white. So we're going to put these on the front and then we're going to put these on the inside. Or, you know, as I said, use any color cardstock, use any designer series paper. You can make it the way that you want. And these are cut, if you're taking notes, um, one and three quarters by five and a quarter. So we'll just put it, remember each, each panel is two by five and a half. And then we might as well just put this one in, I'm just putting them down with my multi-purpose liquid glue, using just a real thin line, the thinner the better. Too much glue makes lumps and bumps and we don't want that. Okay, there's that side, and now we'll put this side down. It's really an easy card if you have, if you get the measurements right. It's, it's really a snap. And very versatile because you can do so many things. You can make anything you want and attach it to that belly band. Um, that's why I like these, these cards, and plus people like them because they're fun. You know, it's kind of a little bit of an interactive thing for them to open. Just put that like that. Carol Schaefer, good to see you. Polly Libby, good to see you. Okay, after the live is over, Renee, thanks. So there's your front and there's the inside. Now, on the inside, we're gonna put a piece of uh, basic white cardstock. And remember, instead of four and a quarter, I've made this four, so the measurements turn out nice. So it's four by five and a half, so my basic white piece is three and three quarters by five and a quarter. 
I always go, most of the time, I go in one quarter of an inch. So we're just going to get the, the basic panels and then we can start decorating. Now, um, I have pre-cut my little critters uh, to save time. And um, I think the dies in this set cut them out, at least some of them. I can't say that I'm, I only got the designer series paper. And that's another thing I wanted to tell you is you can do so much if you just get the designer series paper. Um, that's what I do many times. It kind of saves a little bit of money because I can demonstrate things for you and I don't need to have the whole thing. Um, but this is so cute. Then I usually get the D DSP, we call it, and then I end up wanting the set. That's my problem. So I pre-cut these little guys. I'm just putting them here to show you. This is the one we're going to use on the front because um, she's got a little um, parakeet party skirt. But these are the extra two that I cut that you could put inside. That's what I did on my other card. I just chose one to put on the inside. So I'm just going to choose this little bear. Is it a bear? I'm not sure. It could be a tiger. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a cute little ballerina. So I'm just going to put a little glue and put this on the inside. And you can definitely stamp anything you want on the inside, write on the inside, decorate the inside further, but that's all I'm going to do. Normally, I kind of tend to write big and on the side, at an angle on the side. And so this will be perfect for me. So here's our card. Now we can make our belly band. Now for the belly band, I just went ahead with the 12 inch piece that I had already going of my cardstock and cut out a one and a half inch strip. And what I like to do with my belly bands, I'm not really precise as far as score here, score there. I just take them <clears throat> and fold them around my card and leave a little space on the, on the edge because we want it to be able to slide back on. And I just kind of press and then come back in with my bone folder and see if that works. It's just, I don't use, I don't do a precise science. I know some of you might. And I just don't wanna, I just do it this way because it's just easy for me. And I don't seem to have any problem with it. You know, stamping is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to worry you. <laughs> it makes me almost worried if I have to get that scored right. But as I do it this way, it's just perfect. It's going to slide off and on. So then I come back with my scissors and I'm just going to trim um, to where it overlaps a little bit, just like that. And then I'm going to put some of my glue right under here. Let me make it so that you can see it here. Put some of my glue right here because I know about how, I saw about how far it's going to cover. Okay, I can put a little more. Put it up a little higher. Okay. And then we'll just glue that down and we'll let that go for a minute while we do our decorations. And that is going to be our belly band. So we're, we're all set on the belly band. And now we just make just have fun and make the decorations. Okay, I'm going to get out my Boho Blue Mini Stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine because we're going to use this guy. And don't forget, um, this is still available. They had extras and they're still available. So if you want one, get it before they're gone. It is super cute. I just use my blue one all the time. Now I'm going to cut the, the circle that I'm going to put behind the ballerina um, on the belly band is going to be black because we're using black and white paper and I cut it out I'm cutting it out using the largest circle in the stylish shapes if you don't have this die set I super recommend it and the reason is because it has so many great shapes that for layering I use it a lot I really do but I'm using the largest one because I'm going to put another white something white on top of it and I need that space. So, here 
here's our circle. And I like using it because it has the stitching. You just can't see it, it's so dark, we can hardly see the stitching, but it's very pretty. And then on top of this, we're going to put a basic white punched piece, punched with the decorative circle punch. So let me, I've got all kinds of little things in here. Let me get that out. So this is a scrap and I'm just gonna punch this decorative circle right out like that. Okay, so there, that's how that's going to go with our little ballerina on it, like that. I mean, she's just so cute, you can't stand it. She's so adorable. All right, now, one thing we're going to do, we're going to move back to our belly band now. And just to add some fun, I wanted to put a piece, I love this uh, black and white gingham ribbon. It's kind of... Um, it's almost a buffalo check ribbon, and I really want to put it around here because I just think it's so cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of different things. I'm going to use my um, Stamp and Seal Plus here in the center to get it to stick down. And I'm, what I'm going to do is stick some of it down like that, and then Pull it around and I'm going to trim a bit off. Well, maybe not. I want to see that it comes, it looks even in the center of the belly band. And this is going to be the front of the belly band, okay? That's great. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my black circle right on top of that and I'm going to glue this on right in the center. And that way it'll continue and help adhere the rest of the ribbon and um, also cover up where I have that. So I'm gonna just put some glue in there. Oops, I made a boo-boo, whoops. Okay, I forgot, we can't put the glue, um, it'll stick to the front of the card, that's not good. You know what, I'm gonna cut another circle. That would, I just got excited about glue. <laughs> Let me get a little bit more black here. We'll cut out another black circle. Boo boo. You guys don't know anything about that, do you? <laughs> we'll just cut another circle and I'll try to do it right this time. Um, I've shown you, haven't I, for each one of my papers up in my cupboard up above, I have the cardstock. It's the cardstock and I have it all lined up, kind of if you can see me straight like this and then at the front of every cardstock I have one of these um, job ticket envelopes where I keep my scraps and I label the front of the job ticket envelope so I just reached up and grabbed my basic black envelope that has my scraps in there okay so we're gonna get back our little guy and we're just gonna cut this again Don't tell anyone I made a mistake, okay? I don't want you to tell anybody. We all do it, though. We all do it. And that will remind you not to, not to put glue all over the circle. All right, so what I'm going to do is put, put the glue on here. <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. I'm just going to put the glue right on there, and I think that'll stick. Okay, much better, much better. Okay, so we've got the glue and we've got our circle on our um, belly band. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and work with our little ballerina. So there is our circle, we're ready to go with that. Um, where did my ballerina go? Here she is, and here's the white decorative punch circle. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And that will go onto the black circle. So this is just the decorating of the card. Um, you can decorate any way you like. Oh, that little guy got stuck on there. Okay. I just usually use about three. 
and I'm going to put it this way, right in the center of the black. And then um, we're going to go ahead and adhere our ballerina. And we want her to be, I thought she should be on her toe, right? With her little leg sticking out. So I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals to raise her up. So we'll put a dimensional under her skirt. Whoops, you know what we forgot to do? Oh boy. I wanted to color in her, um, her little flower. I think I can still do it even though there's a dimensional on there. So I'm, gonna, I'm using Melon Mambo because I like it. It's a pretty pink and I'm just going to color in her little flower before I put her on there. That's By doing these little things it gives just a lot more, um, I don't know, it makes it more fun. That's all I'm going to say. And then I'm going to, then I have a Parakeet Party um, stamp and blend and I'm going to put that right in the center. I kind of debated about giving the, it's a deer, right? Um, giving her pink, pink antlers. I think I will. I was going to. Let's give her some pink antlers just for fun. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I want to do it. I think a proper girl should have pink antlers. Let's just put pink antlers in there. I didn't do that on the other one, and I had wished that I did. There she is. What do you guys think of the, of the pink antlers? Cherie, do you stand or sit while you're making cards? You, a lot of people do stand, Cherie. A lot of people do. Um, and I, I'm glad you asked that question because I think people either stand or sit. Um, usually they have a preference. Um, and some have to stand. It's kind of how they do it. And it's it comes in good when you're punching, I, I will say that, or die cutting. Okay, so I'm going to put a full dimensional on the skirt and a little mini dimensional um, right up here behind her head. And then we're going to go ahead. Tina sits, okay. And so let's get our little ballerina right on there. Okay, there she is. Isn't that so cute? Okay, now we're gonna do a little stamping. You know we have to do some stamping. So let me get out. Uh, what else have I got here? Okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna use this piece um, for, for this part to add some flowers and the sentiment. Kay sits. Becky, um, I could add Wink of Stella. That's right, you know what, I'm out of Wink of Stella. Um, I'm gonna use the Timeless Arrangements uh, bundle. I'm gonna use the word thank you and I'm gonna use some of the flowers here to add to our little girl. So first we're gonna add the word thank you or sentiment. I really like this thank you because it's nice and plain. Almost like um, elementary school printing. And I'm just going to go ahead and we're going, oh, you know what? I forgot. I'm going to cut this out with a, with a fun die from the Timeless Arrangements. So I'm going to have to do it down here so the die fits. Let me show you this die. It is so neat. Where is the die? Here it is. There are several label dies from the Timeless Arrangements, and this is a, another one that's stitched, a stitched rectangle that fits the thank you just perfectly. I kept thinking, oh, I didn't cut that out. So what we're gonna do is just run this through I, I wouldn't like to do that one because I don't think I left enough space up above to put the die around that one, but we'll do it on this one because it's so cute once you cut it with the die. I think it looks great with that stitching. Here we go. And we'll see how, how that comes out. Very pretty. See how nice that looks? It even has a little X in between each stitched line. I don't know why in the center there it has an X, a little X. 
Okay, let's go our, back to our little ballerina. And we're going to put the thank you kind of right down here under her leg, I think. And let's put just a few dots of glue and get that adhered. And then we're going to cut some pretty flowers and then we'll be done. But I, I get the feeling she's at the end of her show, at the end of her ballet. And she's getting some flowers for her performance. So that's why we're going to give her some little flowers. I want to get that straight. Okay, we, we need to pull that back. I think that looks good. Now let's work on the flowers. So we've got a little piece of our um, uh, par parakeet party. I hope I've been saying that right. A little piece of our parakeet party. And we have a little die for a little leaf of parakeet party here. So we're going to run that through. It's these little these little things that really make a card pop, I think. We could have just put the belly band around it and put a sentiment on the belly band. But I think these I think these are this makes it fun. I really do to have all these fun little things. So that little guy's sticking in there. I'm just gonna use my scissors here to pop that out. We'll get that little leaf. Just one little tiny leaf is all we need. And again, these dies are from the Timeless Arrangements. And now what we're gonna do is we need another little piece of white and we are going to stamp a, a little, um, some flowers that are gonna go in the arrangement using some Melon Mambo ink. We're just gonna stamp some flowers just like that. And then we're going to color those in too. We've got our parakeet party for the leaves. It looks kind of dark, doesn't it? But it'll look good on the card. Okay, and then here's our Melon Mambo Light Stamp and Blend. And we're just going to color in the flower. Just like this. I mean, as long as we have the dies to cut these things out, we might as well make them, right? Because that, that makes it so much quicker when you have the dies. Okay. And then we find that die for the flowers. I had everything right here, but then as I get moving, things get rearranged. Okay, let's bring this back up here. So how, are you, how do you feel about putting lots of little fun things on the card like this? Do you like to do this or is it kind of, do you prefer to make a quick card? What's your preference? I'm thinking if you're watching me that you like to put little things on your cards because I put a lot of little things on my cards. Let me know. Now I'm gonna cut the flower. Just like this. And that's our last die cutting that we're going to do. And there's our little flower. Okay, let's put together a bouquet for the ballerina. Alrighty. So here she is. And we want to put some leaves behind the flower. I think it, you think it adds to the card, Kathy? Thank you. I do too. I really do. That's why I like to put little things. And because Stampin' Up! gives them to us, they provide us with all these, um, you know, they really do. They give us these wonderful dies and stamps. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm putting a little glue on the back of the flower, and then I'm just going to adhere the leaf right to that. Let's see, I might want to turn the leaf a little to the side. I might have it come out that other leaf there. Well, let's see. You know, this is where you can get so picky. Yeah. Whoops. Okay, little guy, come back. Let me put him on again. 
going to do it right there. Okay, and I'm just going to let it let it dry for just one second. Okay. And then what we want to do, actually, I'm going to trim off the, the stem of the flower because we really just want it to come out of her hand as if she's receiving a bouquet. So I'm going to put more glue back in here, a couple more dots, and we're just going to tuck this right under her little hoof. Would that be it? Kind of just like that and I'm gonna just press down and there she is with her little flowers isn't that cute I'll hold it up so you guys can see close see the little flowers coming out of her hand maybe I should have put her down lower so her head was more on the white part I don't know but now all we have to do is put our belly band around our card and let's just want to be careful because of that glue and it slides right down and there's our card our little ballerina card and let's get our other one put together too I'll show you this one. Oh, we need to put some uh, gems we need to put some little gems on let's get this there we go so there are two cards where are my gems um, you know, of course, you can use any gems, but I thought these kind of light pink ones would look good. So let's put just a couple of those on here. Oops. Put one in there. You know, just like if you remember, it's you're supposed to try to get a triangle. Try to make a little triangle with your with your embellishments. That's what they say. Anyway. So there are cards. I hope you I hope you like them. Hi Robin, good to see you. They I just think they're darling. I and I'm gonna put a different one for my little niece, a different sentiment to give to her. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Okay, time to give a prize. So from last week, our prize was um, a selection of three of my cards and envelopes, and um, we had a nice group of gals who put pro the word prize and the winner is Roz Wolf. Roz, congratulations. I'm going to get these out to you. I'm so glad you won and I will be sending these to you. I have your address, so no problem. Um, I'm happy for you, Roz, that you won. You have I don't think you won for a while. And so for next week, I have a little package of Stampin' Dimensionals, and I've got three of these, um, I'm trying to get them in the camera, three of these little kind of awards that say you are the best, you are the best, and they're attached to the uh, Lemon Lolly down here with a little, it has a, let's see, it goes, can you see how it does that up and down? and down <laughs> kind of a little flagged end so that's the prize a little package of dimensionals with a couple of ribbons kind of ribbons or flags um, so if you want this prize I know a bunch of you have been putting prize and so this will be the prize for next week which will be the 23rd of June can you guys believe it it's almost July it's almost 4th of July Thank you, Kay. So have a great weekend. Make some cards. Make this double fold card. Um, and Renee, we're going to look forward to seeing you post yours with the ballerinas. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see that. So have a wonderful weekend. 